okay when you're ready to join two sides you can see that hexagon is going to fit in there um, nicely you're going to start from this corner of the piece you're joining to this one here and work up and over um, and it works when you're going um, along this first side it works exactly the same as as when you did your single side join here uh, you know you're going to work this corner in with this and you're going to go along here but it all gets a little bit different at this center point so that's the thing to focus on here but let's just do it so to start with um on my hexagon that's going to be joined i've done the the two sides as asked in the pattern and i'm coming up to um the first corner that's going to be joined to the to, to these two here so just the same as before i'm going to put my hook into the corner space and do one double crochet and one chain i'm going to take my hook out and the first corner I'm going to join is this one here and my hook goes front to back through that corner space in there just as we did before and I'll pull through the loop and I'll make one chain and I'll go back into my corner space down here to finish that nice corner Okay, so, so far, exactly the same as joining one edge. All right, and we're going to work the join up here just the same as we did before. So I'm going to do one chain. And then I'm going to take my hook out, go through the next space and pull the loop through. And then do my next door but one neighbour double crochet and one chain take my hook out come along to the next space on the one i'm joining to pull through next door but one neighbor double crochet one chain hook out next one along Pull through, one more to go, next door but one neighbour, double crochet, one chain, and into that last chain space on here. Right, we are now at our corner here and at this central point here. I am briefly turning my pattern over because it frightens me because I can't hold it in my head. <laughs> so here we go, we're going to do just we're going to start this in exactly the same way so we're going to go one chain one uh, double crochet in that corner space just as we've done before and one chain all right and we're now going to take our hook out again just as before and we're going to put it into the corner space of the first of the two hexagons all right so one two if you like we're going to go into that first corner corner space of that first hexagon pull the loop through right there's a lot going on there so just be gentle and it will come through and make one chain right this is where it's a little bit different we need to hand over to this guy now because you can see it's just not attached at all we're nice and secure on this one this one's still flapping about here so we need to hand over to this one and this is how we're going to do it take your hook out again and this time I'm turning it now because I'm going to work up this one and I'm going to put my hook into the corner space of this hexagon so into that corner space and I'm going to get that little loop I <laughs> can't get it and pull it through all right so now that's brought into play and that is sort of getting close to being um close to being joined right so we now got both things uh in play they're all sort of starting to join together and then we're going to finish it off by finishing off our corner um on our hexagon we're working on so we're just going straight back in to the corner where we made that first double crochet which seems about five years ago now <laughs> And finish off and you can see our little triangles formed in that corner now and one chain so let me just stop and you will see that all three 
one, two, three, all three corners are joined. What we're now going to do is revert back to, to joining one side because we've just got to join along this side again and you know how that goes. I've taken my hook out. I'm going to go into the first space next to the corner, put my hook in front to back. Oops, I've put it over there. That's better. Yarn's going behind. Oh, I've undone it. Oopsie. Sorry, let me just put that back. Try that again. So, hook out, going into the next chain space, front to back, picking up that loop and pulling it through. And making my next door but one neighbour stitch and one chain. And taking my hook out and going along to the next space. Spoke too soon about it being quiet. Some sort of aerial display going on. I don't know if you can hear all the aeroplanes and helicopters. And next door but one stitch and one chain. And we're working along just like that through the next space. Next door but one stitch one chain. That one chain is what we're going to haul through every time. <laughs> so I've got last space before the corner, pick up that one chain and pull it through. I'm now going to start working my corner again. Here we go. So one double crochet in the corner, one chain, remove the hook, go back into that corner space of the last one we're joining to. Pull it through, one chain. And now I am home and dry and ready to just finish off my hex hexagon. So I'm going back into the corner space and off I go. One chain, next door but one. One chain, next door but one and so on. Okay. So you can see we've joined those two sides nice and securely. Um, I'll finish this off. And the last one that I need to show you is joining three sides. So I'm going to set this up to get three sides ready to join.